Eagle TV. I'm Sarah Pardo delivering Millard High's latest announcements. This week is packed with ball games. The girls basketball team is on the road this week. Tuesday they play in Delta and Thursday in Enterprise. Good luck ladies. Wednesday night is busy. The wrestlers will duel with Nurse, Nurse Severe is one gym while the boys basketball team plays Delta. Come show your school spirit. Friday night the boys basketball team will take on Enterprise. Don't miss it. Seniors, get your baby pictures to Mr. Coates by January 31st, next Tuesday if you want your baby picture in the yearbook. If we do not have it by then, it will not be printed. Also, senior hoodies are available in Mrs. Kill's office. Pick them up ASAP. Winter ball has been changed to January 28th. Everyone is invited, but until then, boys be getting your dates so you have enough time to get your ties, and the girls have enough time to purchase a dress. With the new year comes many new resolutions. Here's Cohen with the story. We're going to interview people in the halls to find out what their New Year's resolutions are. What are your New Year's resolutions this year? None. None. Okay, I, I, yeah, you broke that already. I'm sorry. What is your name? Jaden Hodges. Thank you. What are your New Year's resolutions this year? Not to bite my nails. <laughs> Honestly, same, not to bite my nails. You know, I haven't said any yet. Maybe to gain a couple pounds of muscle. Eat more garlic bread. Uh, not to have any. And uh, how long until you break them? I already broke both of them. <laughs> um, I ha I'm still going strong. I think I'm gonna like, mm, two more months and then I'm gonna bite them off. Ugh, get over here, Nathaniel. <laughs> On average, how many people keep their New Year's resolutions every year? Like zero? Zero. Not even me. And I'm perfect, so. Probably no one. <laughs> no one. If you were Snowball, would you be a peaceful Snowball, or would you take over the world? I would kill everyone. What are your New Year's resolutions this year? Um, I'm going to drink more water. And I'm not going to drink as much Mountain Dew. Get caught up on my schoolwork, and try to exercise more to be like Jalen, to be awesome. Do you want to build a snowman? No. <laughs> On average, every year, how many people keep their New Year's resolutions? I don't know, not very many. If you could control the weather, what would you do right now? I would make it rain, because rain is sexy. Where? Anywhere. Clark Kent has been threatening to jump off of a building. How do you feel about that? Let him do it. Let him do it, he says. Um, I don't know. He can fly, so it's good. He can jump. Do a backflip. On a scale from 1 to 10, you're a 9, and I'm the one you need. We've just got word from a very unreliable source that the British government has recently banned all infrastructure. What do you think of that? Um... I think that you need to find a more reliable source, probably someone from Germany. That's very sad, because as you know, the British Isle is ruled by a monarchy, the Queen, Queen Victoria, and so I'm really concerned. I've been to England, and that really upsets me to think, because they're one of our greatest allies. Yes, they are, so that really upsets me, so I hope they, they can, hopefully this is a false report. I still don't know what infrastructure is, so like they're banning roads so like no one can drive on them. That's pretty stupid. On average, how many people keep their New Year's resolutions every year? <laughs> um, I'm not really sure on that one, but probably not that many. It's roughly 8%. Um, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> what are your New Year's resolutions this year? Um, get my life together. Eat more and don't exercise, because I always break them, so... I don't know what a New Year's resolution is, so therefore I don't have one. <laughs> if you were told to jump in a lake, which lake would you jump in? Uh, I don't know. Let me, give me a second. Lake Pal. Lake Pal. Good choice. You, you can go. Don't jump in a lake, though. <laughs> All right. Weather. It's me. Here's the weather. There's going to be a storm. Don't worry. Throughout the week, it's going to clear up. Now if we can take it to the seven-day forecast, so that is. 27 degrees on Tuesday, 23 on Wednesday, 21 on Thursday, and you can read the rest. Thank you. Back to Sarah.
The second story this week takes a closer look at the friendships we have made at MHS. We're doing it now? Yeah. Sorry to get Hi, I'm Bo. And this is Jaime. And we're friends, I guess. I'm Carrie. And we're best friends. Yeah. And I'm Jaden. And we're BFFs. Oh my goodness. I'm Lad. I am Jordan. I am Wyatt. We are a couple. Well, yes. We're, we're friends. Just we're friends. A... I am Tino. I'm Diana. And I am a couple or best friends? Both. Both. But what are you really bad at? Girl. <laughs> Tie <Tying> my shoes. <laughs> Oh, wow. Who's most likely to spend all their money like really, really fast? Turn it around. Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> what does Jordan think about the most? I'm curious about it. I am. <laughs> Tino was stuck on an island. What would be three things he would have to bring? <laughs> Who is more likely to t to ditch your friends for a boy? Who is more likely to become fat first? You're writing a novel. Okay, don't go. Hi, it's fat already. Right. Crystal could go any place on earth. Where would it be? <laughs> <laughs> what is Jaden's favorite season? Fall, hunting. <laughs> Caitlyn's biggest phobia. Okay, who's more likely to become fat first? I don't use ranch. I use Thousand Island. Who <laughs> Jen's I didn't know that. That's it for this week. See you next time on Yinkle TV.